know, yeah. on a larger scale, you know, there's no big wins in October. You know, let's keep it real. But for this Pacers team, this definitely qualifies as a big win because when you think about it, this is actually the first big win of the new era Pacers. Like, you get what I'm saying? And I actually was in attendance for this game. And it's crazy that the players that I criticized the most were the players that showed out the most. I mean, if you follow me, you know the players I criticized the most is Miles Turner and Buddy Hill. But, 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 Buddy Love outlined the Washington Wizards in chalk from behind the three, shot five from nine from behind the three to go with 25 points. But the guy that I really want to talk about is Miles Turner. Mr. Lonely. Y'all been wanting a lone center. Y'all let me know, man. Is this the real Miles Turner? Y'all been wanting him to be Mr. Lonely. Now he's Mr. Lonely. He showed up yesterday. He finished with 27, 10, and 5. And you know the 5 does not stand for assists when we're talking about Miles Turner. He has to do this for a string of 5 or 6 games for me to take him serious, to be honest. Listen, I'm not being a hater. I just need to see him do this for 5, 6 games straight. That's all. Because we've seen these flashes from him before. We've seen him for eight years. But just because I'm saying can we consistently see this Miles Turner does not mean, oh, I'm changing my mind and I want us to keep him. No, don't go that far. Nah. But I'm willing to give this guy his respect. I mean, he showed up yesterday. But all I'm saying is I just need him to do this for about five, six games straight. I mean, I don't think he's ever done it for that many games straight. You know, we got two games in a row in Brooklyn, and I actually think we can steal one of these games. I mean, Brooklyn, they got the talent, but, I mean, that shit don't mesh well. I mean, they got Kyrie, they got Kevin Durant, but they don't have no beef or no toughness up there in Brooklyn. Also, head coach Rick Carlisle will return to the sidelines against the Brooklyn Nets. He missed the game versus the Washington Wizards to attend his daughter's event. I believe I told y'all before the season that Rick Carlisle was fitting to miss about 10 games. Now, I had the receipts. You know, I want to see if somebody going to give me my respect. Now, I told y'all that he was going to miss these games. This man is a human being. He, <laughs> this man is a vet. They're going to ward him days off because they know he came here to win, but they're in a fortunate rebuild. And speaking of Rick Carlisle, you know, like I've told you guys, he's a guy who has proven that he can press them buttons. Does Rick Carlisle have another button he can press in Aaron Neesmith? This is the type of guys you need. Can play defense and hit the three. You know, he doesn't just hit the three. He play defense. Lock up on Kyrie Irving. You know, I know he's not going to shut him down, but I like the fact that he's out here playing defense. He's probably like the only guy on our team that really has been playing defense this season. This is a guy who can switch. This is the button you can press in the playoffs. You need guys like that. Don't need no more pretty boys, man. But don't get mad at the facts, though.